Hello everyone, you know some footballers enjoy a rainy day, not sure fans always feel that way, but an exciting match in prospect nonetheless. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gang. And alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And this has all the makings of a highly engrossing match. It's Inter taking on Real Madrid. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Crisp tackling. The Inter starting lineup. Samir Handanovic begins in goal. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Stefan de Frey in central defence. Hakan Chalhanolu starts alongside Marcelo Brozovic. He thwarted the attack illegally. Now perhaps a card is forthcoming. So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, and I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there he's not going to take any messing about here. Dzeko, fed over towards the back post. Oh, goal! How about that for a degree of difficulty? Simply off the charts. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. 1-0 then. Aidan Azar. Not a very good challenge, and he skips past his man. Well, did the job in the end, to be fair. Martinez. Moving forward effectively. And Jekko's in there. Not the best clearance. Is it going to be? Great work defensively, but still the chance. He made it look simple, really. Given away by Inter. And Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore. Gareth Bale! And a goal! The keeper couldn't stop it. Real Madrid on terms. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. Nice looking pass. Azar. And a touch of finesse. And splendid goalkeeping. Well, it's a decent attempt, but in the end, not enough. And as you say, good goalkeeping. Dzeko. And he might be through here. Couldn't beat the keeper, unfortunately for him. Well, I think that's a bad miss. He just never looked convincing as he went through there. Modric. Benzema. On to Bale. Magnificent read, fine tackle, Stefan de Frey. Modric. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. Over it comes. Well, it has come to nothing. Excellent challenge. Well, just narrowly over the crossbar. Good hit, though. Chalanolu. 
Well, attacking possibilities for the Nerazzurri. Can he put them in front? And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given. Well, he's also showing him the yellow card. Yeah, he had to make the challenge, but it was always going to be risky, and so it proved. In it goes! A well-taken penalty! Well, let's take another look at it. It's a really good penalty because he goes down the middle, the goalkeeper goes to one side, no real danger in the end. Excellent penalty. So Real restart the game. Disappointed to have conceded. Can they find an equaliser? Tony Kroos Kroos well it might still work out for them and I think the threat has been averted Dzeko Chalanolu Chalanolu So Inter pushing to add to their advantage. It'll be a corner. And that is not going to help the cause. The header well off the mark. Well, nearing the halfway stage, it's so far so good for the Nerazzurri. Stuart, time, I think, for your assessment. Well, it's been a good first half so far, and they've been the better side, certainly going forward. They now just need to keep playing with intensity right up to the break. Casemiro. And doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today, a constant threat to this back line. Tremendous challenge. Attacking possibilities for Real. Oh, it might be. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. And he finds the net he could hardly miss. Well, just take another look at this because he reacts so well and he then keeps his composure. It's a good finish. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. And Perisic in the thick of it. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. A oh, tremendous vision. A very good tackle. Hazard. Can they forge ahead? That's well blocked. Retaining possession proving difficult. And it's a quality pass. And a significant block following. Just missing narrowly on the volley. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he caught it so well. He's unfortunate. Really active first-half display from Gareth Bale in this game, Stuart. Well, what an outstanding first-half he had. He dictated the play and was a constant threat with his ability on the ball. Surely he's going to be marked a lot tighter in the second 45 minutes. Otherwise, he completely dominate the game. And unable to keep the ball. Bale. It needs an accurate cross. Really getting stuck in. And they deal with the threat this time. Now can they counter clinically? Good pressure to win the ball back. Well, for more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. Oh, there's some real concern looks from the bench, I have to tell you, because he's landed right on top of his elbow, and that's causing him some serious pain at the moment. Cheers, Jeff. And deciding to go short with this one. That's how to rob them of possession. 
Benzema. Casemiro. And the keeper there to catch it under no real pressure. Benzema. Might take the lead. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Now well, there to intercept. Well, I still don't know how he kept that out, Derek. It's a fantastic save to keep oh, it on square. Oh, hang on, Stuart. Big chance here. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. They take it short. Karim Benzema in the thick of things. And still a chance. Great pressure to win the ball back. Luka Modric. A goal here! Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here we can see it again. And it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Possession of a goal by Inter, and now the onus is on them to get forward. Well, he's outplayed and outfought him. Played into the centre, and the ball sailing over everyone in the centre. Azar, Karim Benzema. The ball with Lucas Vasquez. Magnificent challenge to win it back. He made it look simple, really. Casemiro. Modric. And return to Benzema. Lucas Vasquez. And he did well to cut it out. Pressing as a team. Excellent challenge. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. Well, disappointing end to the move. Just ten minutes to go. Benzema. Azar on the ball. And he read it well. Casemiro. Oh, well hit, but couldn't keep it down. Checo. Clear foul, but a Real Madrid advantage. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Really inventive stuff from Real here. Making sure nothing untoward happened. And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations! Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? So the current scoreline, 4-2. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Not messing around with that clearance. He's driven in the corner and he's clear his lines. And the referee blows his whistle and it brings an end to this contest. And the story here defeat for Inter. Jekyll fed over towards the back post.